Hi, I'm Paul Friedman. I'm founder of the Marriage Foundation and today we're going to talk about what is the easiest, what is the fastest, and then what is the best way to fix your marriage. So as many of you may already know, I was a divorce mediator and I was frustrated with the number of clients I had, to be quite honest, and, and the kind of problems that they had coming in for a divorce. Um, I just knew they shouldn't be divorced. They should work through those particular problems. And yet they were coming to me from marriage therapists. That's where I got virtually all of my leads. So what I did was I broke marriage down in a way I want to share with you so you can understand how I approached it. Um, it's not rocket science, but it is science. So I asked first, why do people get married in the first place? And you know what? I started asking all my friends. I got to where I was asking people I bumped into at Starbucks. Why did you get married? And the answers that I got, almost all of them began with, well, he or she really, and I said, no, why did you want to get married? Not why did you want to marry the person you're married to? And you, you should ask yourself the same question. And then I started getting the same answers. Well, I wanted family. I wanted to be with my best friend. I wanted sex whenever I wanted it. <coughs> Excuse me. And I thought those are not universal answers. Not everyone has the same answer, but we're all human beings. And I wanted to know why, why, why do all of us want to get married? We all know why we want to eat, not because we're hungry, but because we have to sustain our bodies, right? So I was looking for that kind of answer. And while I've been talking, I know you've been thinking about what is the right answer and I'll share it with you, the right answer is because we want to be happier. Duh, right? Goes further. Because then I asked, okay, that can be very unique for each individual, but it's not universal. I wanted a universal answer. The universal answer has to do with happiness and the question that I had to ask and answer was what is the one thing that makes every single human being happy without exception? And the answer is experiencing unconditional love. And that's why all of us get married. We want to experience unconditional love. Now there's a lot of subconscious stuff going on that drives us, you might say, but what difference does it make? The bottom line is still the same. We want that unconditional love. And I can explain it to you. I mean, I've done a lot of thinking about this and research too, mostly scriptural. It doesn't change the answer. We all want love. Okay, now I could get into basically what I came up with, because I started working with the same clients who were coming to me for a divorce, I would say, look, let's try this other approach. And what I did was I came up with the easiest way to fix your marriage. And I say the easiest because it's a template that works on virtually every marriage but, so here's what the template is. The template is a guideline of do's and don'ts, right? Most people who were coming to me after I converted my practice to helping marriages always stated the same problem. Oh, we have bad communication. And there were a few others but 80% we have bad communication. Sort of the catchphrase, 
<coughs> covers a lot of territory. But it's not true. You got to look at what's behind the communication. What is behind the communication is a lack of effort on both parts of both individuals not wanting to please their partner unless. It seems like everyone gets into marriage with this idea that I will get rather than I will give. The ones who say I will give most of the time, not every single person, but most of the time attach an agenda to it. I will give as long as I'm getting. I will give as long as they don't cross this line. I will give, etc. So what is the easiest way is to create, and you could do this yourself, or you could go to one of my books that really lays it out, but lay out your own set. I, <laughs> and I'm not trying to sell my book, but it's a lot easier to use the book. A whole set of do's and don'ts. Now, it's not all that's in my book, but um, do's and don'ts. I will not criticize. I will compliment. I will not frown. I will smile. I will not uh, curse at. <laughs> you can still say words if you are watching a political show and you get upset. Um, but create do's and don'ts and base it on how your spouse relates to your communication. So that's literally the easiest thing to do. And for literally most marriages, it's all you need. It's the easiest and it works. So try that. Again, using one of my books will help you, but you don't need it. You have common sense. You could do the work I did. Of course, it took me a long time and it might take you a long time too, but you can do it if you're a do-it-yourselfer. Okay, now we go to what's the fastest way to heal your marriage. Well, that is the fastest way, but you have to add another element. And the element is to put the emphasis on the positives. Okay, here's my do's and don'ts. Wow, I really do bitch and moan a lot. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. I really do um, have expectations. I'm gonna stop that. Great. You're going to stop doing those things. And by stopping doing those things, you're leveling things off. You're not creating tensions anymore. But you also have some positive things. I will start to notice my spouse's better qualities and tell them, wow, look at you. So that's the fastest way to focus on the positive, the positive communication, the positive behavior, and don't undermine your efforts by allowing the negatives to remain. Okay, so that covers the easiest, which is laying out do's and don'ts and following them. And it covers the fastest, which is emphasize the positive. We all know that a compliment goes really far, right? Any positive action goes really far, especially with your spouse. Now the best. How did I come up with the best? Well, what happened was I was working on these fastest and easiest with my clients. And we would work together on a whiteboard. We'd lay out the do's and the don'ts and everyone was in agreement. And then very early on, someone came to me and said, Paul, your stuff is like magic, totally works. I'm the problem. I'm not able to stick with this program. I can't do it. I'm reactive. Bear this in mind, I'm reactive. I get triggered and I need to react, need. Okay, 
So here's where I went, wow, I have this same problem. In the early 90s, I wanted to give up anger entirely. I couldn't do it. I worked on it literally for years, almost 10 years. But now I had a client who needed some help. So I thought about it and I realized people need to have the ability to control their own mind. This is a huge problem that we have in the world. Everyone talks about New Year's resolutions that they last for be, maybe 30 minutes, maybe three days, maybe three weeks. Why? Why is this so tough? So now we're getting into the best way to heal your marriage. You still have to do one and two. But the best way is to learn how to control your own mind. So this becomes a very deep topic. You see, you are not the mind. We've gotten into this misconception of ourselves because of Western psychology, which focuses on phobias, on psychological issues in the mind, likes to diagnose things, likes to go after what's wrong here. But there's nothing in there about controlling the mind. Why? Because psychologists think you are the mind, and how can the mind control the mind? You're a soul. See, this is where they miss the boat. You're a soul. I'm a soul. We're souls. And we've come into this body-mind complex, you might say, to enjoy the world. And, and we do, except for when the body is telling the mind, because the body communicates with the mind, the soul communicates, and we might say the mind is in the middle, and the body is all about just survival. And so what happens is we have this struggle with overcoming two things. One is our instinctive reactions, and the second is retraining our habits. See all the work that I did <laughs> to save you the time and effort? We're literally, we literally have given up our free will to habits and instinctive reactions. And, and this is backed up by pilot training and anyone who has to overcome their instinctive reactions in order to accomplish a particular mission. So I found some scriptural stuff to help, and I also devised a, a, a technique which requires a lot of effort. And again, you could do this yourself. So now I'm going to urge you to take a look at another video. I hope I haven't uh, bored you with this, but I really want to help you get your marriage back on track. So I put together, it, it's my explanation of our 12-week program. And uh, it really gets into the details. I don't want to get into it in this video because it's already getting long. But this will help you see. And then you could decide what you could do on your own and what you need the book for and what you need um, our courses for, which are deliberately established to hit this best. Now, why do you want the best? Well, you may not need the best in terms of our program, our course, but I'm going to talk to you now about what's the benefit of marriage because we're talking about fixing it. And unfortunately, everyone has this sort of mediocre idea of marriage, which is a great big mistake because marriage is phenomenal. And I have done some research, not like psychologists do, and there's a great master who says, and I agree, not, I mean, I can't agree in an absolute sense, but I believe him and I have found 
that so far seems to be working out. And that is that the marital path is a spiritual path. And it's one of the highest spiritual paths that will give you the same results as the, any highest spiritual path, which is, it starts with peace, joy, and then bliss. And we've all heard of marital bliss, and those of us who have studied spiritual stuff recognize that bliss is the highest state of consciousness with God. So it's really cool. And even though you may now have a mediocre idea of marriage, if you get into this the way I've gotten into it, and there's nothing to stop you from doing it, and really pursuing this path of marriage and going for it, the benefits are ridiculous. You literally walk around in joy all day. And so it's worth it. So, okay, you're going through some tough times right now and you need to fix your marriage. I've laid it out for you. This will work. It does work. And so go try this route that I'm suggesting. Don't waste your time with marriage therapy. Don't read a ton of books. My two are fine. You only need one of them. Look at different articles that I've written so you get a sense of what I've learned and I want to share with you because I'm telling you, it, it's incredible stuff. Marriage is incredible. And there's no reason why you shouldn't have the most amazing marriage. You can and you should. Okay. My my love to you, blessings to you, blessings to your spouse and blessings to your family. And please do me a favor and go ahead, like this video and then share it. Let people know. There's not enough good knowledge out there about how wonderful marriage is. And there really should be. I mean, it's, it's something we all do, right? And yet we all do it, the best of us do it in a mediocre fashion when there's so much to be derived. Okay, all my love to you. Bless you.